Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is The Princess and the Peanut. Indy slept in a big bed. It was the most comfortable bed anywhere. It was piled with soft blankets, the softest in the world. Her pillows were just right for falling asleep as soon as she got into bed. Indy lived a long time ago when princesses were common. Her father was the king of a beautiful country where water flowed over great waterfalls. The water was so cool and fresh, one only had to dip a hand in and drink it to feel refreshed. After a long day of play, Indy was so tired, she barely got to say goodnight to Rosa, her companion. She slept but didn't dream because she was that tired. Indy awoke with a start. Had she heard a baby crying? Where was it coming from? Indy knew there were no babies in the castle because she was the youngest of the king's children. Indy laid her head back on her pillow. Must have been a dream. The castle was silent, other than the sound of the crickets and the tree frogs. Wah! There it was again. Indy scrambled out of bed and stood there, waiting to hear the sound again. Wah! Wah! There it was again. It really did sound like a baby. But how did a baby get inside the castle? Indy put on her slippers and ran down the stairs. Yes, her mother told her never to run down the stairs, but this was urgent. There was a baby somewhere all by itself. As she reached the bottom of the stairs, Indy stopped to listen. Which direction was the sound coming from? <coughs> there it was. It was coming from outside the castle. Maybe somebody left their baby at the castle door because they couldn't take care of it. Maybe it was kidnapped. Indy was very worried. She didn't stop to think what she would do with the baby once she found it, but she had to find it. She opened the castle doors and ran toward the sound. Wah! 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 The cries were getting louder as Indy ran through the forest. As she ran across the bridge over the small stream, Indy thought she heard the sound coming from under the bridge. Indy stopped to listen. There it was. The cries were coming from right under her feet. She carefully picked her way through the underbrush by the stream. She was getting closer. Hold on, baby. I'm almost there, she whispered loudly so as not to wake anyone up. Wah! Wah! Indy pushed the last of the underbrush and there it was, the baby. Well, not exactly a baby. It was a little kitten. It was all by itself and crying like a baby. Hi there, little one, said Indy gently carefully picking up the kitten. Are you crying for your mama? Did she leave you here? Come on, let's go to my house. It's starting to get light, she said. Would you like to live with me? Indy asked as they walked. Meow, said the kitten. Sounds like a plan. What should I call you? Indy was trying to figure out how she was going to tell the king she brought home a kitten. I know. What do you think about Peanut? Indy asked. Meow said the kitten, smiling up at Indy. Peanut it is. Let's get you home, Peanut. Indy snuck into the castle with Peanut in her arms. When she got to her room, she pulled up one of her blankets to make a little comfy spot for Peanut to sleep next to her. As she fell asleep, all Indy could think of was the soft, gentle purr of the kitten next to her. She picked up Peanut and held her as she laid back. Both Indy and Baby were asleep before Indy's head hit the pillow. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the story. There are lots of pictures that go with it. I'll put a link in the description below. Thank you.